Okay, so basically I got the linkage for the shift mechanism all put back together here. I also created a bus bar here out of some copper tubing that I had that's covered with uh, plastic that I banged flat to uh, and drilled a hole in it and then put the terminals through it and screwed down on them. So that should be good. Now in the back there I've got a 12-volt uh, battery on it just to make sure the wheels spin around. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to step back here for a second. Here's my uh, jump starter battery. I'm going to just turn this knob here and then I'm going to see if everything spins. So let me just point to the knob here. That's what I'm going to turn. But I want to keep my eye on the motor and it should actually make a little bit of a jump because I don't have the bracket on the back yet that will secure it uh, for a torque, but there will be a little bit of torque you'll see when I start this thing up. Pretty good. Now I've got the transmission oil back in there. You can see the wheels spinning around. Let me stop it for a second so you can see it. So right here you see the uh, the light on top of the of the hood, but the hood is back on. And you see the wheels are going round, which is nice. So I'm just burning in the motor a little bit gently here, just to get it a little bit worked in, so we get the brushes square. To they are square when you initially get it, so that should be rounded by the time um, I keep testing this. Uh, but I'm going to put it back out in the driveway soon. I'll make a little room in my garage. Yeah, start it back.